Donald Trump's haphazard attempt to relaunch his communications operation after six months as president will face its first test next week when his son-in-law testifies about alleged links to Russia. Pardon me. Legal experts doubt Trump could absolve himself in Russia inquiry. Read more the Appointment as communications director of Anthony Scaramucci, a financier with little experience but a feisty New York style that Trump admires, led to the resignation of press secretary Sean Spicer and suggested that White House messaging could take on an even more combative tone. On Saturday, Trump duly fired off 10 tweets on topics ranging from health care to old rival Hillary Clinton to the Russia's investigations that continue to haunt him. Adam Schiff, the ranking Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee, responded on the same medium, glad to see new communications director has things under control. The stream of consciousness strategy never fails, right? The president's son-in-law and senior advisor Jared Kushner is due to speak behind closed doors with the Senate. Intelligence Committee on Monday and House Intelligence Committee on Tuesday. Donald Trump Jr. and former campaign chairman Paul Manafort are set to undergo private interviews with the Senate Judiciary Committee on a date yet to be determined. Trump associates are also under investigation by special counsel Robert Mueller and Manafort, who bought three New York properties between 2006 and 2013, including one in Trump Tower in Manhattan, could be put under pressure to cooperate because of money laundering accusations against him, Reuters reported on Saturday, citing two unnamed sources. Russia dominated the first half year of the Trump presidency and this week, billed as made in America week to champion homegrown manufacturing, was no different. First it emerged that the President had a second, previously undisclosed meeting with Russia Vladimir Putin at the G20 meeting in Hamburg. Then, in an extraordinary interview with the New York Times, Trump said he regretted hiring Attorney General Jeff Sessions because Sessions in March recused himself from overseeing an investigation into Russian interference in the election. The president also insisted that the former FBI director would be crossing a line if he scrutinizes his personal business ties. And on Friday the Washington Post reported that Sergei Kislyak, the Russian ambassador to the U.S., has said he discussed election-related issues with Sessions during the 2016 election. The Post cited anonymous U.S. officials who described U.S. intelligence intercepts of Kislyak's descriptions of his meetings with Sessions, who was then a foreign policy advisor to Trump. The president responded to the report on Twitter on Saturday, 